Disappearing oceans shock new research shows that the oceans are slowly leaking into the earth. Well, we knew that this was going on at the subduction zones especially, that the ocean water is leaking into the earth through that those areas, coming up through volcanic lava flows or hydrothermal eruptions such as geysers and spring waters. Now, this new research, this is on Futurism by John Christian. The Earth's oceans are gradually leaking into the interior of our planet. It's according to a new study, new research by the Norwegian scientists who told new scientists that the Earth's water is slowly draining into the planet's crust. Though nowhere near fast enough to cancel out the sea level rises, we are currently experiencing because of the climate change phenomena. This is also due to, of course, the rapid subduction. New research published in the journal Geochemistry, Geophysics Geosystems, found that the rate at which the oceans are draining into the Earth spiked about 150 million years ago when the supercontinent of Pangaea split up. If you see the video just before this one having to do with the Atlantic Ocean, how it was formed because of volcanic eruptions in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that separated Africa from South America, which was at one time joined together. That's how the Atlantic Ocean was formed, through that hot spot, which is still active today, separating them still at two centimeters a year. South America is going northwest, and Africa is going northeast. So our Earth is still growing. Now, how is it growing? Where is all this material coming from? Who knows? That's still a mystery. But uh, they found that the rate at which the oceans are being drained into the Earth increased about 150 million years ago when the supercontinent of Pangaea split up. Quote, you have much more rapid subduction when you break up a supercontinent, end quote. This is what the University of Oslo researcher Kristen Carlson said. He claimed this, he reported this to the New Scientist. He explained that the rapid subduction is crucial for bringing water in hydrated rock deep into the mantle. So what's the prognosis? At their current rate, according to New Scientist, the oceans will be completely sucked dry in about 12 billion years. But that does not mean there isn't any cause for concern. But that does not mean there's any cause for concern. The magazine points out that the sun itself will be long gone by then. And this is what the new scientist says concerning the oceans very slowly draining into the rock below our Earth's crust. By Michael Marshall. The water from the ocean steadily draining into the interior of our planet that's been taking place for the last 150 million years, the loss of the water is equivalent to a fall in sea level of at least 50 meters and possibly 130 meters. The drainage will not affect the current rise in sea levels, which is driven by climate change and ultimately our greenhouse gas emissions. This current rise is taking place over centuries, whereas the natural drainage is 10,000 times slower, slower than this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, 
because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.